Hello, beautiful butterflies. Welcome to Mariposa Wisdom. I'm Jennifer Love. I'm an angel intuitive, among other things. I'm a Scorpio sun, Scorpio rising. To learn more about me, you can visit jenniferlove.me. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to me, you're most welcome here. This reading is the current energy in love. Energy can change based on your free will choices. That's what makes intuitive reading so powerful. Hopefully you can use the guidance to make better choices. This guidance will not resonate with everyone, so just keep the messages that are for you and let go of the rest. If it's not your story, please check your moon or rising sign or come back next month. If you're watching, I can connect with your energy and tell your story next time. It's really helpful to have professional lightings for my videos and social media posts. I recommend social light lighting. The six foot stand is fully adjustable for any angle. It can be positioned upright and also down at the cards. A travel bag and a remote are included. Click on the link in the description box to order yours. I'm also thrilled to showcase Simply Earth essential oils. Simply Earth makes 100% pure essential oils using ethically sourced ingredients from small farms. They also give 13% of their profits to fight against human trafficking, a cause that's near and dear to my heart. They have a monthly subscription box created by certified aromatherapists with four to five essential oils and blends every month. Amber bottles for mixing, color labels, and cool recipes to make everything from household cleaners to dry shampoo. As a new subscriber, you also get a bonus box with a ton of goodies. The monthly subscription box is only $39, which is less than the cost of one bottle of that popular brand. Click the link in the description box to find out more. Hello Aries, welcome to your September reading. So I'm gonna get an overall energy from this deck, Soul's Journey. energy for the month of September and we've got change I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement so I guess it's going to be a month of changes for you Aries so let's see what's going on with your love life please give me messages serve the highest good of the people watching. Retreat. Stay optimistic about your love life. And true love. Nice. What I'm feeling is that there may have been a special someone that pulled away or backed up. Um, you guys were getting really close and then all of a sudden they kind of took a step back. And this, you know, kind of gap period or, you know, this space between you is a really more like a test that, you know, can you be happy about your life as a whole without this person and then stay optimistic about your love life that you know love will happen in its own way in its own time it's kind of like if you're not happy alone why would anyone want to partner with you if you just need someone to make quote unquote make you happy um, that's not very appealing and it's just not um, it's a lot of pressure to put on someone to be the source of your happiness so I think this person pulled away because they were feeling the the kind of neediness or closeness from you and I think if you can master this space master the gap um, between you and your person and focus on your own life and your own goals and activities and hobbies and everything while staying optimistic about your love life then the true love will happen it will this person will kind of see that you're capable of creating your own happiness and you don't need someone to do that for you Ten of Pentacles, yeah, you guys are, I feel like there's a committed relationship here, 
um, but this person pulled away. Yeah, that spark. So actually, you know that saying that absence makes the heart grow fonder? It really does. So this being apart will actually help spark the newness back into your relationship again. Um, two of Wands. Yeah, this is kind of future planning. This is a partnership, the Two of Wands. Um, the Two of Wands is kind of future focused, so that fits like here with the true love in kind of the future position. I don't always read it past, present, future. I kind of take it, I don't know, intuitively as I go, but I really do feel like this is um, past, present, future. And you might be feeling um, kind of down because this person isn't, you know, with you right now or you guys aren't quote unquote together. But I think if you stay optimistic, this will really turn around in your favor. So I want to get one of these. These are like hard to shuffle for me. Like I don't know how they got bent, but they're bent the wrong way. And I can't seem to shuffle them right. So I try to like tweak them so they'll shuffle. I just want one card. Yeah, put away the computer. Working hard and having more fun will help strengthen the relationship. So this is kind of saying there's a time for working and then you put away the work and focus on having fun. So I kind of feel like you need to not only take the gas off the pedal in terms of your love life, but also your working life. You've been working really hard and you need to make some time for some fun and hopefully you know like you get some chance to kind of kick back and relax um i know you know we have labor day weekend and if you're watching this after labor day weekend then you know that's kind of past but um that could be a good time to chill and um try to have fun at least one of the days of your weekend focus on some fun yeah this is a uh, vulnerability concerns there might be I'm not really sure if it's you or your person that's afraid of being vulnerable but um, yeah this separation is a minor setback for sure because I do see that spark happening again and the partnership the true love so this is just a really minor thing um, you and your person are learning some karmic lessons right now and I think the lessons are really about being happy on your own um, not necessarily needing someone for your happiness okay someone might be a player that could be one of the karmic lessons that you know if you do cling on to this person too tightly they're gonna back up and play the field so you need to be sure that um, you can create that spark. You can um, do that by living your life and being an interesting person without this person. So this person will be texting you in the future. You might be seeing 222 a lot. Um, that's just more confirmation that this is um, a partnership. You're on the right path. This is true love. I kind of feel like um, the commitment may have been a lot for your person. That may have been like, I don't know if I know how to do this. I don't know if I can be vulnerable. Um, and they had to learn some lessons about um, being open and vulnerable because they're used to being a player. They're not used to being in a committed thing. I don't, I don't think. Um, this may not apply to everyone, obviously, but if there's someone in your life who's kind of in and out, this is what I'm talking about. This is the lesson to learn, is that when this person pulls away, you need to let them. <laughs> let them pull away. You know, you have your own life and your own things to worry about. So don't, you know, chase after this person or think that, you know, oh, they don't care about me anymore. And maybe it, maybe they don't. Maybe they, you know, this is, you know, kind of a way of them showing you their behavior and that they can't handle a mature adult relationship. But I do feel like in some cases that 
this person will be on their way back once they see that you are emotionally stable and solid without them. So they will feel like, oh, this person has got their shit together, I can hang with this, and I'm going to stay. So, yeah. Let's see uh, what else is coming up. If you're not sure this is your reading. Truth teller. So who's the truth teller? Is it you or your person? Or it could be somebody else. Lonely. Yeah, I kind of feel like you guys might be lonely with this um, kind of retreat that's happening so they're checking your social media so <laughs> I'm not saying to like fake it but if you are having fun out with your friends or you're just having fun in your day or whatever you're killing it you're like working really hard then put it up on your social media because this person will see that this person will see that you have your shit together, you are having fun, you're just living your life and you're happy and um, they'll, you know, want to be a part of that happiness because nobody wants to be a part of someone who is not an equal partner. They're not like bringing anything to this coupling. So this person definitely desires you sexually, which is always a good thing. And yeah, speak up. So I feel like um, if their kind of player-like tendencies um, are upsetting to you, then maybe you can call them out on it. Like, just go, you know what? I don't really want to partner with someone who is playing the field. Like, I don't think that's it. You know, someone I want to be vulnerable, vulnerable with. That's not someone I want to invest in. So definitely you can say, you know, speak up and tell this person what your needs are. I think you're the truth teller, Aries. You're the one that's going to have to speak up and tell this person. This like back and forth in and out is not working for me. So don't come back to me if you're going to be in and out again because I don't need it. Okay. Um... Let's get let's get a guardian angel message for you. I was just telling one of my uh, Facebook groups um, of readers, you know, um, psychics have professional groups too <laughs> that I don't really do spreads like I just kind of intuitively get cards and um, the story comes in my head or like what's happening and they were like how do you decide which spread to give to your client and what um, what do you let them decide or do you decide and I'm like I don't know because I don't do a ton of spreads. I know a lot of spreads, but I usually do them, use them for myself or when I'm giving a reading to another intuitive because they request a particular spread. But, you know, your average person doesn't care about what the spread is. They want the answer to their question, right? Does that make sense? Anyway, um, Archangel Haniel wants you to honor your feelings. Thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. So the part that I said about staying optimistic about your love life and um, focusing on yourself, it doesn't mean you can't have any feelings about it. You can definitely have your feelings, have your emotions about um, you want that Ten of Pentacles that went away. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is more like um, a really solid commitment. It's the happy family. It's the um, financial support of one another. It's like a very committed union. So you may have had that with this person and then, you know, they took a step back. So it's okay to have emotions about it, but it doesn't mean you have to share your emotions with everyone. Okay. There's a big difference between feeling your emotions, having them, processing them, 
and airing your business all over social media. So you know this person is checking your social media now, so please be careful what you put out there because they're going to see it. Let's get an abundance message for you. Let's see what for the month of September. It is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. So it's important to be in a receptive mode in order for you to receive your abundance. You know how people win the lottery and you hear stories of that they blew it all the money like within a year or one or two years and um, they're broke again. Like that is you know, not being able to receive abundance. You have to be able to look at this huge bank account and be comfortable with it. You don't have to give it all away. You can keep some, you know, save it for a rainy day, make investments, blah, blah, blah. You just have to be a person that is um, allowing yourself to receive abundance because sometimes it can feel uncomfortable if you're not used to it. If you're not used to people giving to you and obviously abundance can be money but it can also be the gift of time the gift of energy of someone helping you um, the gift of having a mentor for your career the gift of um, yeah any kind of resources someone's gonna fund your project or someone is giving their talent and expertise to a project so be thankful and say, oh, thanks. I'd really like some help on this project. I know you're an expert in this area and this is really helpful for me and receive that. Don't say, oh, no, I don't need it. I'm good. You know, I can I can figure it out. I can handle it. That's, you know, pushing away the gifts that your angels are trying to give to you. So definitely feel safe to receive your abundance. And if you don't feel like you can receive or that you have issues receiving, you might want to work with um, a therapist or a life coach to help you feel more worthy of receiving. So thank you so much for watching, Aries. It means a lot to me that you're part of this community. If this video resonated with you, please hit that thumbs up and I invite you to subscribe to Mariposa Wisdom. Drop a comment below and let me know if anything was spot on for you or if you have any ideas for pick a card readings. I do those as well. I will be going live and taking personal love and relationship questions a few times a month. So hit the notification bell if you'd like to participate. Um, I did one and it was really fun. I didn't get to everybody though. So hopefully the next time um, and they're kind of sporadic like when I have time to go on. So um, hopefully you can catch one of those lives to get your question answered. Um, you can follow me on Facebook at I am Jennifer Love and Instagram at jenniferlove.me. Mariposa Wisdom has its own Instagram account at Mariposa Wisdom and I post whenever I release new videos on that account in case you don't get notifications on YouTube. I really love to do readings for you guys. If you'd like a personal reading, you can visit jenniferlove.me. All of my services are there um, with descriptions and pricing. Um, I'm also uh, started teaching feminine movement classes, dance classes, um, virtually. Um, so if you want to check that out, that's at thebodystorystudio.com for women only. Sorry, guys. Um, I do have an Amazon wish list that's in the description box. If you want to donate any decks for the channel, it just makes it more um, interesting and fresh energy. And I do have a donation um, link. If you appreciated this reading and you'd like to support me in creating more content for the channel, even a dollar or two is really um, helpful. So don't forget that you always have a choice between love and fear and choose love. I'll see you next time, Aries. Bye.